Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about my experiences in the Netherlands. This time I will talk about my studio slash roommate hunt. So up until a couple of months ago, I was living in a city called Rolle near Tilburg, maybe you know that city, and I was living by myself. But at the end of one year, I was really enthusiastic about moving out. So this apartment hunt is basically a result of that. Let me first talk about what my problems was in the previous place. One of the first things was that it was too far from everything. The thing is nearest bigger city and where my work is and my friends are were 30 minutes by bike. And I actually didn't know anybody in Rolle. So especially during the pandemic times, it was quite a bit isolating. So that was one of my first issues. That 30 minute bike ride to basically even to where I work and like where most of my friends are became quite a bit of a challenge. I wouldn't guess so, but it became a challenge. So I thought I need to move to a more central place. The second problem I had was that there weren't many international and young people in this city, which left me a bit, again, more isolated, made me feel like a bit more like an outsider all, all the time. That was my second problem. The third problem, and this one became a bit more, more of an issue towards the later times, because the apartment that I was living in was an old house, so it is it was pre-war. So there was quite a few problems with the internet or like getting internet actually. And also there were problems about the heating. It was well below 20 degrees in there during the winter months. I wasn't even because I needed to work from home and I was cold all the time. So there were quite a few of problems. So what I decided is that I'll move out. I actually gave a generous budget for myself because, you know, I needed to work from home. So it was important that new place was appropriate for my needs. And thus I decided on a 1000 euros per month budget. I actually didn't want to use like that 1000 euros completely. I thought that Rotterdam was a good candidate, even though it was kind of far away from my work. It had a very young and international population, and so it was an appropriate place for me to move. Compared to Tilburg, I think it's a bigger city, and I desperately needed some freshness. Because of all the pandemic and staying out inside all the time, I needed some good change. So that's why I decided to look for studios in Rotterdam. So what other criteria I was looking for, except for like the studio was within my budget? One of the first things, I just didn't want to have the same problems I had when I was living in Gorle, even though it was a super cool, old fashioned apartment next to a church. I just wanted the new place to be very central and like I wanted a place where it was it will be very easy for me to meet with my friends and I don't know go take a coffee or something like that so I wanted a central place uh, and the second thing is I wanted a lot of young and international people like me so I don't feel like an outsider all the time and I can meet with more people that way and the third thing that I wanted was that the apartment the studio will be modern so it will be either recently renovated or it was a new building uh, which would mean that it will be way easier to get my own internet connection plus the heating and isolation will be better and the last criteria that I was looking for was that it will start right after my contract with the previous place will finish. The apartment that I found was pretty great and I, it basically satisfied almost all of my criteria. As a note, I was also looking for roommates or room strength on Facebook. I wasn't able to find anything decent or like I wasn't chosen to be the prospective roommate. So I was basically left with the option of just renting a place for myself which will be a studio so what i did was basically start looking at apartments 
three months before my move out date so I would get an idea of like what was out there basically. So what I did was I applied I think approximately for 30 40 places to get a viewing and most places actually answered me. I think that was I don't know one of the silver linings of pandemic times there wasn't much of a demand so I was able to get quite a few viewings etc but at the end I just decided to go with three um, studio type places so I viewed three places and I rented the third and the last place that I checked out so the first place was not a complete studio but it was basically a unit within a student dorm type building because it didn't have its own toilet even though it had its own shower which i find quite ridiculous because well i mean i think toilet having the toilet inside is more important than even the shower but that was the case so it was a furnished studio the toilet was outside it was shared and also the drying and washing machines were shared which was which i was okay with actually and despite it having the toilet outside the rent was quite a bit high so it was 900 euros all inclusive another thing that i didn't like it was in Kralingen area which is actually very good for students because it is very close to universities of rotterdam but it is kind of far away from the center it's like the apartment was about 20 30 minutes i think it was 30 minutes to the central station of rotterdam so that was quite a long distance for me i thought the place was a plausible candidate if i weren't able to find anything better the second apartment was central so it was about 15 or maybe slightly more minutes by walk to the central station of Rotterdam. But I had a couple of issues. First, it was a building where kind of like a bunch of random people lived. <laughs> I mean, this might not be... Well, the thing is, what I wanted was that I wanted to live in a building where lots of young and, I don't know, young professionals or young i don't know students lived basically people like me basically um so i didn't get that feeling from that building and another thing was that it was kind of expensive so it was 1000 um euros all inclusive with the furnishings but the studio itself wasn't super nice because it had like small windows where you had to basically stand up to see outside and another thing was that the studio was on the fifth floor and there wasn't a there wasn't an elevator and i know from my experiences that moving stuff is pretty difficult and especially if you live above the fourth floor and you don't have elevator the third place is a place that i rented and the thing is it was quite close to my ideal studio basically the first one it was a modern building and it was recently renovated so all the things were new so it wouldn't be much of a problem to get internet connection and also it was isolated so i wouldn't have to be super worried about whether i'll be able to be i'll be able to stay warm during cold winter months the second important thing for me was that it had a place for washing machine inside. In the past two years, I used laundromats and common washing machines, but I was quite a bit fed up with that, to be honest. So this was quite a bit of relief. Crucially, the shower and the toilet was inside. <laughs> It was quite central and it was in a nice neighborhood that was also positive so it it was it is about 10 to 15 minutes to the central station and another thing it was well within my budget so i am paying now 900 euros um almost all inclusive another thing that i actually wasn't looking for but found in this apartment is that the apartment was close to public transportation spots 
lastly the building was basically targeted towards young professionals and students so that's it thank you very much for listening to this i hope you've got some helpful things out of this video and see you next time bye